friends in this video we will see the definitions of reversible machine what is the concept of reversible machine why it is called as reversible then we will see irreversible machine why it is called as irreversible machine and after that we will see the effort lost in friction and load lost in friction so let us start with each of the definition one by one so the first one is reversible machine now the definition of reversible machine is that a machine which is capable of doing work in the reverse direction that is even after the removal of effort load gets lifted is called reversible machine so reversible machine is a machine in which it is capable of doing work in the reverse direction when we say work is done in the reverse direction it means that even after the removal of effort load gets lifted and such kind of machine would be called as reversible machine and the condition for reversible machine is that for reversible machines efficiency will be greater than 50 percent so this was the definition of reversible machine next irreversible machine a machine which is not capable of doing work in the reverse direction is called as irreversible machine it means in this machine the work is not done in the reverse direction hence we can say that it is also called as self locking machine and here the condition is for irreversible machines efficiency will be less than 50% so this is the condition if the efficiency is less than 50% we would be calling them as irreversible machine and if the efficiency is greater than 50% then we would be calling them as reversible machines the next definition it is load loss and friction load loss and friction it is the difference of ideal load and actual load therefore load loss and friction it is given by w suffix f and it is the difference of ideal load and actual load and here ideal load is greater than actual load next effort loss and friction it is the difference of actual effort 
and ideal effort. So effort lost in friction it will be denoted by P suffix F and it is equal to actual effort which is P minus ideal effort. So from this it is very much clear that actual effort would be greater than ideal effort. So here in this video we have seen the definitions of reversible machine, irreversible machine, load lost in friction and effort lost in friction. I hope each of the concepts was understood in detail.